with you to talk more about this day is Rudolf Mahanu. He is the Kenya Country Coordinator Endangered Wildlife Trust International Crane Foundation. He was former National Coordinator Kenya Forest Working Group. Rudolf, thank you for making time for Worldview. Thank you. So, trees are important, as we've heard from that uh, intro that I was just reading. But why is there a need to raise awareness? In Kenya and many other countries, we realize that uh, we have conflicting priorities. And in terms of conservation of forests, it's more about uh, how do you prioritize and as a country, we are losing about the annual loss of forest cover in, the, in, in Kenya is about 12,000 hectares per year. Mm -hmm. So it's in terms of that huge loss of forest cover in the country that makes us uh, to really want to highlight the significance of forests so that we can put in practice some of the practical ways of conserving these forests. And the forest cover is being lost to what? They are what we call drivers of deforestation and forest degradation. Mm -hmm. Because one, you could have a forested area that is totally lost. So we call that deforestation. But again, you can have a forest which is degraded, meaning that the value of that forest is going down. And there are quite a number of uh, uh, drivers of deforestation. One, which is a, a key one, is an um, uh, infrastructure development. You realize we've quite a number of infrastructure happening in the country. And most, mostly what happens is that we clear the forested area and we do not make arrangements to plant. Another key aspect is in terms of uh, logging. Logging could be legal, but normally it is the illegal logging that has been driving our forest cover significantly down. And even a key aspect is urbanization. Because we know that um, the world population is doubling, but the population of people in cities is actually tripling. So we are likely to have more people staying in cities. And you know, it is, uh, there is a need for accommodation. There is also a need for food. And even in terms of waste management, because some of the places where waste is uh, uh, dumped, it happens surprisingly to be in forests. All right. So yeah. the theme this year is uh, forest and energy. Is an energy and production of the same one of the drivers of uh, the deforestation of the reduced forest cover we are witnessing? Isn't that a very thin line to be able to uh, maneuver because on one hand it provides more energy than we've had solar, wind and hydroelectric sources but on the other if encouraged it then sees to it that you're just having a reduction of that forest cover. That is true so especially we talk about sustainable forest management meaning that in the production of uh, wood you have to put in place some clear mechanisms so that your utilization is matched by replacement so that it's sustainable. But in Kenya, you realize, uh, particularly in charcoal production, it is not done in a very structured and sustainable way, so that most of it is illegal. So we end up losing most of our forest area, and we are not replenishing it. So sustainability is actually the mechanism that makes uh, our utilization to have some future uh, consideration. And what efforts are being made here in Kenya? Because one of the things of a reducing forest cover, as we're seeing annually, uh, the same taking place, is climate change. You know, that's a reality in the Kenya and the world we're living in today. So as a country, are you aware of measures that are being put in place to ensure that uh, the reduction or at least um, mitigating um, factors are put in place? Precisely. You know, as a country, about 2.9% of the forest estate is protected, is protected. And the rest actually happens on farmlands. So there has been a, a very strong effort, particularly by Kenya Forest Service, to ensure that the protected or caseted forests are conserved. And also we focus on farmlands, because it's not only the gazetted areas where we can uh, practice forestry. Mm -hmm. So there has been a lot of drive to do sensitization, particularly through counties, 
planting, uh, and even uh, I think there has been some counties doing urban forestry. Because I mentioned earlier that urbanization is a driver of deforestation. Right. So there are certain counties that are, are doing what we call uh, green zones, which means they plant trees the right species within urban areas. Mm. Yeah. Many thanks, Rudolf Mahanu, for joining us here on Worldview today. Rudolf Mahanu, Kenya Country Coordinator, Endangered Wildlife Trust, as well as former National Coordinator, Kenya Forest Working Group. We thank you.